So for our beginner ankle routine, we'll be starting with ankle circles. So standing on one leg and essentially trying to draw a big and smooth circle with your toes going three in one direction and then three in the opposite direction. So take it nice and slowly and just explore how smooth you can get this movement. There will be points where the movement will feel more jerky, but over time with more practice, this will smooth out and you'll be working for one minute on each side for this. If you're finding that balance is an issue, then just go up and do this against a wall or you can hold a broomstick or something similar for balance. So once you've done one minute on one side, then just swap sides and repeat. So next up we'll be working on some half kneeling rocks. So starting in a half kneel position like so, rocking your bottom back onto your heel as far as you can and then rocking forward with as far as you can with the knee over the toe. So you don't have to go as far as you're seeing here in the video, just explore your own range of motion and you can build up gradually over time. So you can see that one ankle is going forward into dorsiflexion and the other is going into plantar flexion. You can increase the challenge a little bit by raising your toes up so that you're coming up onto your heel on the front foot as you can see, which will just add a bit of a calf and hamstring stretch into the movement, but you can choose to do this option or not, just depends on how it feels for you. So just take your time with this, move slowly, work for one minute and then you'll be swapping sides. If you are finding that you're having a lot of trouble reaching down to your heel with your bottom, using a cushion or two can be a helpful thing at first and that can also help you measure how far you're going. So as you improve and as you do more practice of this movement, then you can remove a cushion until you can get all the way down onto your heel. So next up we'll be working on some calf raises and we'll be leaning against the wall for these ones to take away the balance component and also to help facilitate a greater range of motion. So you can start even closer to the wall than I am here. The closer it is, the easier and the further away it is, the harder it is. So just find a distance from the wall that allows you to work for one minute with these. And as you can see, as I've stepped further away from the wall, my ankle goes into more dorsiflexion towards the bottom of the movement, which is a really good thing. So take the calf raises nice and slow. It wants to be slow, especially on the way down, slow and controlled, and you can get a little bit more speed and power on the way up. Trying to get full contraction of the calf at the top of the movement and full stretch at the bottom of the movement. So working on those for one minute and then to finish off we'll be playing with some ankle inversion and eversions. So this is basically the rolling in and out movement of your ankle. So just keep one foot stable and gently roll out onto the outside of your foot 
and then roll in onto the inside of your foot as you can see here. So this may feel like quite an intense stretch, especially going onto the outside of the foot. So just take this one very slowly and gradually and put most of your body weight on the stance leg and just gradually add load as you can tolerate. So working for 30 seconds on one side and then swapping to the other side for the same movement for another 30 seconds.